My mom had a transplant. My brother was also diagnosed with um, polycystic kidney disease and went through a transplant about 17 years ago from my, uh, a living donor, which was my cousin. After my brother was diagnosed, my brother, my other brother and I both were tested and found out that I also have polycystic kidney disease and they put in a PD catheter and started testing me for transplant. And while doing that, my husband, sorry, decided that he should be tested. And um, interestingly enough, we were a match. I called the transplant line. They wouldn't accept me as a donor until she was accepted as a transplant donor. So. That probably took her, with all her testing and her vaccinations and everything else, probably took just about a year for her to get on the transplant list. Then as soon as she was accepted on the transplant list, I went in and talked to the transplant clinic here and they got this testing going for me. So the, the only hesitation I possibly had is we have two daughters and they've both been diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease, is that if it came to, I only have one kidney to donate, if I have to choose between the three of them, who gets it? But it, it was short-lived because she needs one now, Lynette needs one now, so it's, this is a matter at hand. Our daughters, who knows, like you said, with the advancements and stuff like that, in 20 years when they get to this point, then you know, there might not be a need for them to have a transplant. There may be other ways that they can deal with their, their disease that they have. So to have a donor, and I mean, a living donor for sure, but I mean, to have the fortune that I had to have that happen prior, but a, you know, made a huge difference, and I think I mean, I, I did feel better after surgery, but I'm sure for some people that were on dialysis, that change would be significant. I have no concerns about my health going down the road. It's just a matter of recover a little bit more, and I think everything will be fine with us.